Uh, hello students, uh, welcome to this lecture on the uh, on the stick diagram. So, um, so in this particular lecture, we will have a look into the two input NOR gate and then one more uh, additional combinational uh, uh, logic gates. Uh, and then we will try to represent or draw the stick diagram for the same. So two input NOR gate, uh, again, the schematic is uh, given here. So let me put, pick up a pointer. So this is uh, the two PMOS transistor in series and then two NMOS transistor in parallel. I have given the width of the uh, PMOS and then the NMOS transistor, four is to four and four and then one and one on the NMOS side. Uh, so this is what I need to draw on the on the uh, in the stick diagram. So I now have the polysilicon gate. So this uh, A and A are the same, and then this B and then this B are the same. So what we'll do is we'll have the P diffusion lines and then the N diffusion lines. We'll also have the VDD rail and then the ground rail. Uh, the polysilicon gate uh, A and B will cut across the P diffusion and N diffusion lines, forming the uh, you know the P transistors and then the N transistors. For uh, the on the for the input A and B uh, respectively on the P diffusion and N diffusion sides. So I will now have the you know this particular line uh, which is a polysilicon line A, a polysilicon gate which is cutting across the P diffusion, forming uh, you know the P transistor here, and then cutting across the N diffusion here, forming the uh, uh, the N uh, transistor here and similarly B uh, polysilicon gate which is cutting across uh, so forms uh, this one uh, and then uh, the transistor on the P on the P diffusion side and on the N diffusion side. Uh, so that, that's about uh, uh, you know the polysilicon gate that is cutting across. Uh, so let's now go over uh, uh, the connections here. Uh, so what we have is, you know, let me have this particular diffusion node as an X node, and the other side is nothing but Y. So if I consider the B P polysilicon gate uh, and its transistor, on one side of the diffusion it is connecting to the VDD, on the other side it is the X node, right? Which is a kind of a common or a merged diffusion with that of the A transistor. So if I have A polysilicon and then B polysilicon. Uh, this particular node, which is an uncontacted, so this is an uncontacted because there is no metal line. This is an uncontacted uh, merge diffusion. So this X is an uncontacted uh, merge diffusion. On uh, uh, on the other side of the B transistor, it is connecting to the VDD. On the other side of the A transistor, it is connecting uh, to the output node Y. So this is the output node Y. Right here, uh, remember that in the stick diagram, you know this overlapping lines of the uh, you know the the metal lines, which is overlapping with that of the polysilicon line, will be on a different layer, right? So, in, so the stick diagram, uh, you know, uh, if I have the same color, if I have the same, uh, let's say, the metal line, you know, it should not overlap. So, if I have the metal line which is kind of overlapping, that means that uh, those two metal lines are uh, are wired together. That means there is a short circuit. If they are different colored, or in the sense uh, they are of the different uh, 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 different uh, nature, such as the P diffusion lines, which is overlapping with that of the polysilicon gate, that is okay, because the P diffusion lines will be on one layer, and then the uh, polysilicon will be on another layer, and then the metal line will be on the another layer. So there will not be any kind of uh, an intersection between uh, the metal lines and then the uh, the other natured lines, right? But if you see the metal lines kind of overlapping or merging or intersecting, then there is a problem. So in a stick diagram, we have to ensure that you know the, there are no two lines of the same nature which are cutting across. All right. Hope that is clear. Uh, yeah. Moving forward, so this is my x point and then the y point. On the pull down side, we have the two transistors which are in parallel. A transistor, uh, you know, the the A transistor on one side uh, it is connected to the ground, uh, and then the B transistor on one side it is connected to the ground. So this is the ground one. Uh, so this particular diffusion side is uh, this particular one. So this is the X here connecting to the ground. And on the B side also, this particular point uh, is my line here, which is cutting uh, and connecting to the ground. On uh, uh, you know, this particular diffusion and, and this particular diffusions are, are the same on the pull down side, which is gets connected to the Y. So it is basically a merged uh, uh, contacted diffusion. So this is the point, uh, merged contacted diffusions, right? So now to track uh, the number of, uh, what is the footprint or the area, we will have to track or count the number of the horizontal metal tracks or the vertical metal tracks. So counting the horizontal tracks is this one, and then the diffusion is the second, the third is this particular metal track, 
uh, y output node and then the uh, fourth one is this particular end diffusion line and then the fifth one is this ground rail so i have five metal tracks uh, horizontal metal tracks and on the vertical side we will have um, uh, this is the one this particular metal line and then this particular metal line can be on the same alignment so i will uh, indicate it by a first vertical track the second one is being this and then the third one is being this so i'll have three uh, vertical tracks um, um, and then uh, forming the length of the footprint and then the width of the footprint is nothing but this five metal tracks multiplied by eight lambda and i have added the three into four lambda just to ensure that this is the four scaling on the uh, two input nor gate, uh, nor gate and this is only one scaling so this one scaling will be accommodated in this eight lambda uh, in this particular uh, uh, eight lambda so that means that the end diffusion doesn't have to change the width of the end diffusion doesn't have to change it is uh, still the four lambda because the scaling is one the width of the p diffusion uh, is not four lambda anymore it is actually 16 lambda right and then plus four lambda for the spacing so what we have done is we have taken four lambda uh, on the width side uh, four lambda uh, and then the spacing of four lambda and uh, the 12 lambda is getting added here so multiplied by three into eight lambda on the length side will give me the overall area uh, where lambda is nothing but 25 nanometers for a 65 nanometer technology node. Um, yeah, so this particular area turns out to be higher than uh, 2 is to 2, 2 input uh, NAND gate. So if I go back to the 2 input NAND gate, uh, this is what I, we had. Uh, so we had, uh, you know, this is uh, 24 lambda multiplied by 5 into 8 lambda, which is 40 lambda plus, uh, uh, so 48 lambda. And here we have uh, 52 lambda multiplied by uh, 24 lambda. So 48 lambda multiplied by 24 lambda in the NAND gate. And then for the NOR gate, it is for 52 lambda multiplied by 24 lambda. Right. So naturally, this uh, this area is higher. The footprint is higher. Moving ahead. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at this particular combinatorial uh, circuit. Y is equal to AB plus CD. Uh, and this is the schematic uh, for the AB plus CD. So AB in series on the pull down side uh, and then in parallel with that of CD transistor in series. And then that is connected to the output node Y. And because it's a conduction complement topology, we will have A and B in series uh, will become parallel on the uh, pull up side. And then C and D in series will become parallel on the pull up side. I have represented a uh, diffusion inter node, a diffusion node of X node. And on the other side, it is the Y node, right? So on the stick diagram side, I have uh, the VDD rail and then the ground rail, and then we have the P diffusion lines, and then we have an N diffusion lines, right? So let's uh, start with, uh, you know, the transistor A. So transistor A uh, on the P diffusion side, on the PMOS transistor A. On one side, it is connected to the VDD. On the other side, it is actually connected to the X node. So on one side, uh, it is connected to the VDD. On the other side, it is connected to the X node. Uh, P transistor on the PMOS side, it, on one side it is connected to the VDD. So a common uh, contacted uh, merge diffusion is connecting to the VDD. Uh, and then the other side it is connected to the X node. So this is the X node again. C transistor PMOS side, on one side it is the X node. So C transistor on one side it is the X node. So it is kind of getting merged with that of the B transistor, uh, 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 this line and then the C transistors, this particular diffusion. All right. So in fact, I can say that the, the source of the C and then the drain of the B is kind of getting merged together. So this is uh, the C trans the C polysilicon uh, gate on the one side, uh, it gets merged with that of the B transistors uh, diffusion. And on the other side of the C transistor, I have a Y node. Uh, I have the Y node. So this, uh, we are going to say that this is the Y node. And then uh, we'll complete the DPMOS transistor. So the DPMOS transistor on one side, uh, it is connecting to the X node. On the other side, it is the Y, which is a merged one. And that is the Y node. But here the problem is, I have this metal line, which is going across and cut, connecting all the X nodes, right? And the Y metal line is also coming across it. So there is this kind of uh, a cross section, which is not expected. Right. What really happens is we will have uh, the short circuit between the Y metal wire and then the X metal wire. And what it also indicates is the D transistor on the footprint, the D transistor, both this diffusions are connected. 
which is not indeed the case because the D transistor on the schematic, the X node is not connected to the Y node, right? So the Y node is isolated from the X node. Of course, it is connected via the transistor. But what we are saying is actually we are connecting this X node and Y node with a with a with a metal with a metal wire uh, that has been indicated in the footprint or the, that has been indicated in the stick diagram, which is incorrect. On the pull down side, we have the A transistor and then the B transistor. So A transistor, A polysilicon gate, B polysilicon gate. Uh, the merged diffusion is this. The merged diffusion is this. One side it is connected to the ground. So this is you know the B transistors. The other diffusion is connected to the ground. The A transistor is connected to the Y node. So the A transistor gets connected to the Y node and thereby the A transistor is getting connected to this, you know, the diffusion of the A transistor is getting connected to the Y node. The C transistor, on one side it is connected to the Y node, the other side it is the merged uncontacted diffusion. So on this particular C uh, polysilicon line, on uh, one side it should get connected to the D transistor diffusion. So that is what uh, it is doing, the D polysilicon and C polysilicon. But the, on the other side, it is kind of forced to get connected to the B transistor's diffusion, which is connecting to the ground, right? So what we need is some kind of a separation here, right, between this diffusion so that, uh, you know, this particular node uh, gets, uh, the C node is get, getting connected to the Y node. In the D transistor, I have this particular polysilicon gate. On one side, it is having a merged diffusion with that of the C transistor. And on the other side, it is connecting to the ground. So we need some kind of a separation here. So what it, this separation indicates is, you know, any kind of a diffusion to diffusion, the separation always has to be four lambda, minimum of four lambda. So there are two things here, which, uh, you know, which we noticed here is one is the, the metal wire getting uh, intersected, which is a very wrong design. And the other thing is we need a four lambda of separation. And, uh, you know, if we don't have the four lambda of separation, then the C is unnecessarily grounded rather than connected to the uh, output node Y. And the other problem we saw was the metal tracks uh, intersecting or crossing each other, which ensures that, which makes that short circuit connection. So what do we do? Uh, so one way is to ensure that the metal tracks are, uh, you know, are in a different, uh, um, are in a different uh, layer in the sense, different layer in the sense uh, are designed uh, uh, differently. So instead of taking it from here, which will uh, intersect the Y metal line, instead of that, you take it uh, onto the other side. Of course, my uh, area will increase because this metal spacing will have a four lambda spacing, and then we will have additional four lambda spacing, but we cannot do anything else. Uh, but even if I do this on the pull down side, if I have a C trans C gate and then a D gate here, this one, the C will be forced to ground, which we should not have. And that's why I have changed now. Uh, I have changed the order of the polysilicon. So A, B, and instead of C, I have a D and a C now. So if I do that, I will have A, B, D, and C. So instead of A, B, C, and D, I will have A, B, D, and C. So the X node, uh, you know, will still remain the same position. Uh, but instead of the C transistor, I'm considering the D transistor first and then going ahead, uh, going towards the C transistor. So for A and B transistor, uh, it is very much similar. Uh, for the D polysilicon, I have one side, it is X node, the other side, it is Y. So it is also very similar, X and Y. And then C will have, uh, you know, X and Y. So Y is the merged contacted diffusion and X, it will get connected to the other X nodes. On the pull down side, uh, you know, where we had this problem of the C transistor, which was forced to connect to the ground, that will not be there now. A and B transistor remains the same. The D transistor, one side it is connected to the ground because this ground and then this ground are the same. So I will have a merged contacted diffusion, which is getting connected to the ground. On the other side of the D is this particular point, uh, which is an uncontacted merged diffusion. And after C, uh, it gets the other side of the C gets connected to the Y output node. All right, so this is what we have uh, for the AB plus CD. Uh, so in this particular recording, what we learned was uh, we started with the two input NOR gates and then uh, the sizing uh, of the uh, uh, of the PMOS transistors. Uh, and of course, the NMOS transistors was uh, incorporated into our stick diagram to find out the footprint. The area of the two input NOR gate was naturally higher than that of the area of the uh, two input NAND gate. And uh, we started analyzing the, the the stick diagram for uh, for a, another combinational circuit, which is AB plus CD. Uh, 
And in AB plus CD, we, we notice that, you know, the ordering of the polysilicon gate is also essential because if I have an order of A, B, C, D, on the pull down side, the C polysilicon gate is, was forced to the ground. Uh, if, if, you know, if, uh, if I need to overcome that, then I need to have a separation of four lambda. But separation of four lambda is likely to increase the spacing. So instead of that, if I can actually reorder the polysilicon gate uh, uh, order, in the sense, if instead of A, B, C, D, if I have it aligned as A, B, D, and C, then I could have a merged diffusion. I can uh, take, uh, I can make use of the merged contacted diffusions and then can reduce the size and make the design very, very compact. So the order of the polysilicon gates is also very, very essential in designing the stick diagram uh, and to make the overall uh, footprint very, very compact.